insecurities a lot. There are some certain type of dress I couldn't wear. I had um, bulging stomach. I had big tummy. My tummy. I had lots of um, hip dips. My ass wasn't in the right proportions. And then you see me wearing butt pad. It's not, there are sometimes I'll I was somewhere. Yeah. I'll be asking my friend, please let me check. Has my butt part shifted? When you asked me to come in for the procedure, I took my time to um, study. You know, did my own findings, my background. So I, I, I was confident because I was giving my body to somebody who was somebody who doesn't go with the norm. Like everybody's body has to be like this. If you look around, everybody's looking like the same, the same, the same. When she came in, I just remember Precious came in with like baggy jeans. She came in with her friend. Very, you can tell people that are not so confident in terms of they just kind of blend into the room. She was quite, quite quiet. Um, and I remember saying, Do you know, what? let's have a look at the body. Let's see what you don't like, what you like. So um, get into the bathroom. Let's get into your underwear. And she had this pad, butt pad she was wearing. I didn't know anything about butt pads at the time. So when you're wearing butt pad, you're, you're, you're seeing the lines and everybody, you're careful so that I hope my butt pad is not, there are sometimes I'll, I'll somewhere, yeah. I'll be asking my friend, please let me check, has my butt pad shifted? I want to ask you about this butt pad. Because <laughs> I didn't even really know that much about butt pads until I met you. Uh -huh. you, has, you said you had worn butt pads for how many years? Um, 2015. So was this something you had to wear every day? Like yes. it became part of your dress? Yes, it was. I mean, it was actually yeah. because there are some certain dress you want to wear. You want to feel confident. Mm -hmm. You want to have all the shapes in the right proportions. And then you have to wear butt pad. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> so what about when you have to like, you know, swim or get into like a bathing suit? I don't go to swim because I mean, you yeah. take me out and I'm looking all nice and sexy. And then I take out my dress and I'm looking, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> And this insecurity you had, was it mm -hmm. something that, you know, was personal to you or were other people, the other people used to comment on your body or was it just something you knew that you didn't well, like about your body? I would, I wouldn't say other people comment because they've, they get to see me wearing butt pad. So except you're really, really, there was a time a friend of mine had to spark me on my ass and she heard boom. And she was like, what was that? I felt really bad. Yeah. You know, you're not secured. So most people out there don't know this is what I have been wearing over time. Mm -hmm. So I won't say it's because of them. So it was mm -hmm. actually my insecurity. insecurity yeah. Yeah. So people come in with an idea of what they want, but I tell them, do you know what? I understand, but I also feel with your shape or with your height, with your body, this is also going to look really good. And if you can trust me, then, you know, we'll, we'll go together. And she, she trusted me with that. And so that was, um, it was nice working with her. She, she looks and she talks like somebody who knows our onion in the feed. You know, somebody who's confident about um, what she's doing and, for her, it wasn't just about the money, it was about um, her clients, her patients being confident and beautiful in their own way. So sorry for I'm fine. Okay, well. Okay. So there are stories out there. We hear a lot of like there's good stories, there's sort of scary stories, there's blogs coming up. So you coming in, what made you confident enough? Because I don't think we had met. No, we haven't. When you asked me to come in for the procedure, I took my time to um, study, yeah. you know, did my own findings, my background. So I, I, I was confident because I was giving my body to somebody who was, somebody who doesn't go with the norm. Like mm. everybody's body has to be like this. If you look around, everybody's looking like the same, the same, the same. Yeah. You know, so you're somebody who don't think if you want to do BB and a liposuction, you have to be the same, you mm -hmm. know. So there's this thing you preach about be confident in your body. If you want to do liposuction or BBL, it doesn't have to be all that. So it was something that made me yeah. real comfortable. So let, tell me a bit about how you felt maybe before you met with me, mm -hmm. then during, and if that affected how you felt just coming into theatre. Before doing, before I met you, I was scared. Like I get to see people on the theatre table, they look lifeless. Yeah. You know, you're scared. Like what if I don't wake up? Or what if something happens? You know, you are completely lifeless. Mm. You know, that's what I see every time on the streets of Instagram. 
so that put a lot of fear in me and then a lot of stories out there where people had procedures and so Just, yeah. but with you i was confident because i mean my my procedure after my procedure i actually ordered for a ride home myself yeah you remember mm -hmm. inside the theater i was talking to you yeah. you were asking me i was i remember everything you were asking me while in the theater yeah so it's up when i tell people they don't believe it mm -hmm. so sometimes i would direct them to the page and say that was me yeah. talking when the nurse was asking me pay questions are you okay yes There's something else i want to bring up with you i feel with a lot of people that come in for cosmetic procedures they don't want people to know what they've done, which is fine. Okay. And I always try to maintain your rights to privacy. So you remember every time you come in, I'd always ask you, yeah. are you okay with me recording? Are you okay? You know, should we take off your face? Okay. But I remember in the theater at some point, you said we had given you drugs and you were like, oh, so should we record me now? Record me. <laughs> <laughs> and even when you post like your page, so people, a lot of people come out and be like, we love her confidence. Yeah. And that's something I really love about you in terms of even afterwards carrying your body and just being so confident. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your experiences with like your newly enhanced body and your life now and how your sort of your confidence is coming through. I'm more confident now because hell, you asked me to take off my dress. Sometimes when I come to your clinic, people say, can I see with, oh, with, do you understand? Like I'm so happy to show you, do you understand? A lot has changed a whole lot. When people go, I, I try to comment on the page for them to know that this is me. Yeah. It's, there's what I mean. I had to go for shopping now. Like I had to start buying a new set of dresses. And this is yes. Yeah. I had to start buying a new set of dresses because it's on another level entirely. There's this thing. There's this confidence it gives to you. Mm -hmm. You know, especially the fact that I don't look like the regular mm -hmm. BBL out there. Yeah. You. It looks yes, so natural. natural that people yeah. are, people begin to ask you, did you do your body? I'm like, okay, why don't you go to bed for a page and see yeah. for yourself? So it looks so natural. Mm -hmm. it's, it takes a lot of guessing. It's not something that you just look at me and say, oh, she got her body yeah, done. she did.